This video is about six mark questions. So every science exam you do, your core, your additional and even triple, will have a six mark question guaranteed in it. Now the six mark question is only ever going to be a maximum of a C grade because it is included in the higher and also the foundation paper. So it's usually around question four, question three. So in these questions, you will be marked on your written um, quality of written communication. So basically, how good is your grammar? How good is your spelling of scientific words? So this one here is quite a nice one. I like it, but a lot of people get confused. So it says the diagram shows a picture of a vacuum flask. It then labels certain parts of the vacuum flask. So it must be important if they're taking the time to tell you that it's there, then maybe you need to mention it within your answer. So you've got a plastic cap a double walled glass container, hot liquid, vacuum, and silvered surfaces. Now, silvered surfaces doesn't mean it's silver. You can get plastic, plastic or glass that's also silvered coloured. The question says, a vacuum flask is designed to reduce the rate of energy transfer by heating processes. Describe how the design of the vacuum flask keeps liquid hot, so all liquid inside hot. Now, Right away, we've got this word describe. So that means write a detailed answer that covers what happens and where, okay? And then up here, you're talking about the design, okay? So the design is important. They've listed some design features here, and it's talking about reducing the rate of energy transfer, so keeping it hot, basically, not letting the heat out. And then it's talking about energy transfer processes. So you should know the different energy transfer processes Straight away we know we've got conduction, we've got convection, we've got infrared radiation, and then we've also got the other two that people forget about are evaporation and also condensation. So you need to be mentioning these processes within your answer. So it is six marks. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you need six different points. It could just be four points, but explain really, really well. Now, the way I would tackle this question is to go through a feature and then explain how that feature actually reduces energy transfer. So, first of all, I would say, so at the top, a plastic cap. Excuse the writing. Um, reduces heat transfer. because, well it's plastic, so because it is an insulator. So these are actually poor at conduction. Okay, so that's one of the ways. It also prevents convection currents forming and evaporation, okay, because it's actually stopping any evaporating particles going out the top. So it prevents particle loss via evaporation. Okay, um, so I've got sort of two points within that one feature there. Then I would talk about, um, about a vacuum. I'll leave that one to the end. So, a vacuum prevents, perhaps I spell it right, prevents heat loss via, and it's two ways, it's via conduction and it's via also convection because they require particles and a vacuum, you should know, has no particles whatsoever. So, via conduction and convection but then you need to explain yourself because they require particles and a vacuum has none. Um, I then also mentioned this as so silvered surfaces so silvered surface 
Okay, so a silvered surface, we know, so there's a vacuum, infrared can get through a vacuum, it comes from space, which is a, the biggest vacuum we know, so it can get through it, it's not going to stop it getting out, so eventually it will cool down because it's going to lose energy via infrared radiation. But what you should know is that a silvered surface is a poor emitter of infrared radiation. It's also a poor absorber, however, we're talking about preventing heat loss, so we're talking about preventing it getting out. So you would say silvered surface... Um, and it doesn't stop infrared radiation, but it, uh, they are poor emitters of infrared radiation. And therefore reduce heat loss. So straight away there, I've got about five points already, okay? We talked about the vacuum, we talked about the plastic cap and the silver surface. If you were then going to talk about the glass container, you would say that the glass container is a poor conductor. It is a conductor, just not a very good conductor. So never say it doesn't conduct because we know all solids conduct. It's just about how well they do it. So a glass container is a poor conductor, so reduces energy transfer. Okay, so I've got a lot of information there, I've got a lot of points. If I was to show you the mark scheme. So here you get it's banded these questions they're quite awkward so a level one so one to two marks you would have to have there's a basic explanation of one feature or a simple statement relating to the reduction of energy transfer to one feature to get three to four marks there's a clear explanation of one feature and a statement relating to the reduction of energy transfer of two features or for to get full marks uh, there's a detailed explanation of at least two features so it doesn't even need to be all the features a simple statement relating to reduction of energy transfer for all four features would then get you the five to six marks. Now, the sixth mark does depend on how well you've written it, uh, your grammar, uses of full stops. I would try and avoid bullet points with questions like these. And then here were the things you could have had. So it says, except throughout heat for energy, loss for transfer. So they are quite nice in what they give you. There's a glass container. And then for the vacuum and the silvered surface, they're the answers that would have been. So I think I probably would have got six marks there if my handwriting was a little bit better, but I should have spelled all the words correct. So that would be how you answer a six mark question. Also, in the test, it is six marks which is out of 60 so that's 10 percent of your mark is from one of these questions and because the tests tend to be 60 minutes or they are 60 minutes i would say a mark per minute so you should only really be spending six minutes on this question thank you